Hey guys, what's up? It's Fred Jr. here, and today I'm bringing you guys my final Black Ops 2 gameplay and commentary. The Black Ops 2 era is over in three or four days. So, in my opinion, it's time to look back as Call of Duty players, reflect on the game, evaluate our time on the game, and uh, really try and take something out of it and go into the next game with hopes right hopes and expectations and uh, that's what we do with every Call of Duty and it's what I'm gonna do for Black Ops 2 so first I'd really just like to talk about or I'd really like I said I just want to reflect on Black Ops 2 and talk about ghosts a little bit but uh, Black Ops 2 was a game that I found really interesting as far as the uh, community response. All right, Black Ops 2 catered to a certain type of player. All right, they catered, in my opinion. I've, you guys don't have to agree with me. Just like the disclaimer right here is that this is all my opinion, and I, and I am actually going to talk about why I'm saying that. Uh, Black Ops 2 catered to the esports player. It catered to the trick shotter. It catered to that type of player. Alright, the type of player that really doesn't care about, you know, their stats, their wins, I, not wins, their stats, their KD, all they really care is about, you know, flipping around, spinning, doing trick shots, or private matches, and doing that MLG thing that I'm, I'm really not into. If you know me, I hate, I hate esports, I hate all the people who do it, I think it's really, really ridiculous, but, uh, again, my opinion, but... Black Ops 2 catered to that type of player. The maps clearly catered to that type of player. Uh, just the way they were designed with head glitches everywhere. Uh, and I'm not saying head glitches are a bad thing because of course I abuse them too. But uh, uh, like they're, they're everywhere in this game. And you'll, you'll see in this game, like, half of this game is moving, moving from head glitch to head glitch because the maps are really designed with esports in mind and only esports in mind. And if you've ever watched me stream or you ever played with me, you know I complain about that a lot. You know, I really always say this game was only made with esports in mind. Right here, you see me get picked off by the quick scoper, and there you go. Quick scoping in this game was ridiculous, and a lot of people like to say that you know quick scoping in this game really wasn't good compared to like Modern Warfare 3 and Modern Warfare 2, I guess. But it's all, it's all you got to keep it in proportion to the game. In Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3, the quick scoping it was good, don't get me wrong, but you're not going to do too much damage against people running around with UMPs in Modern Warfare 2 or people running with MP7s in Modern Warfare 3, so the quick scoping almost balances itself out with the uh, overall weapon performance in that game. In Black Ops 2, it's a different story, you know, the weapons are a little more toned down, but the snipers are toned up, so you have this whole problem where people are just running around picking people off using snipers as you see my buddy right there my teammate jumping around <laughs> they're just running around with snipers as using them as the same use as shotguns and uh, I was actually talking about it with my friend the other day on Xbox Live about how when a weapon class when a weapon class and I'm talking about assault, rif assault rifle some machine gun snipers uh, etc when a weapon class takes the role of another weapon class that weapon has become overpowered and it is so clear in Black Ops 2 that the sniper took the role of the other weapons, alright? The sniper could be used as a close range weapon, and obviously as a long range, long range weapon, so that created a huge problem. And the sniper became ridiculous in Black Ops 2. Uh, and, you know, when you make something good in the game, such as esports and sniping, uh, that community is going to grow, you know? And that's exactly what it was. It was it was extremely prolific, dude. I don't remember in Modern Warfare 3 all the esports and quick scopers that are in this game. You know, it's crazy. And right here we switch over to a nice new gameplay on this map. Don't know the name. It's a new one. But uh, yeah, the growth was prolific of the uh, sniping and esports guys. It was ridiculous. And obviously, you know, they added league play because they really wanted you to play esports, they really wanted you to like, they wanted to shove that down your throats, you know, esports, play it, you know? And then they did the matchmaking, the, what was it called, skill-based matchmaking, 
where uh, you know you get you have to play against people who are good if you're good. So they really wanted to create the esports and quick scoping, trick shotting friendly environment. That's exactly what they wanted to create, and they did. And that's exactly how the community evolved. And that's what I was referring to earlier in the commentary about how you know some people may get angry because I don't like the game, and it's because I find it so interesting how divided the community was over Black Ops 2. You know, Modern Warfare 3 was pretty unanimously hated. I mean, sorry if you like it, but it was pretty unanimous, unanimously hated. And then Black Ops 2 was so divided. It almost seemed like half of the community despised the game. It was the worst Call of Duty. And then half of the game thought this was, like, the greatest thing since sliced bread. You know, like, Black Ops 2 was awesome and played the shit out of it. And I don't know, but, but I always thought that was crazy. Some people played this game a lot. And they loved it, and it was the greatest Call of Duty. And I always thought that was so interesting because there, there was a huge division in, in Call of Duty, a division I've never seen before in Call of Duty. You know, all the other games you were generally liked, generally not liked. I mean, during their time, I'm saying. Obviously, like now, you won't see a lot of people liking Modern Warfare 2 because of the problems. But during their times, they were generally liked or disliked. Black Ops 2 was so divided, and. In my opinion, it was divided because some people didn't want to conform to what Treyarch presented with them. Presented them, you know. Uh, Treyarch presented this really competitive scene, you know, a competitive game. And some people don't like a competitive game. Some people like when you're good, you, that means you're good, and now you can destroy everyone. When you're bad, you got to work your way up to be good. And when you, <laughs> that's kind of the way I see it too. And uh, with esports, it's just kind of like good against good. When, in my opinion, I think it's good to create a good versus bad environment because I'm actually gonna have to add a new video to this. But it's actually good to uh, create an environment where some people are getting shit on and some people are dominating. In my opinion, that's a good thing because it you know, it motivates people who are bad to become better, and then you just create a system of better players, you know, and it, and it forces the good players to evolve because sometimes they are going to run into good players so it makes the game fun for everyone because the bad players have something to work for the good players you know are on top and they, they got what they got you know and I always liked that type of environment and with Black Ops 2 had a real different environment where it wasn't always so common to be pulling insane scores that you would be pulling in Black Ops 1 all the time because you were playing against good players and the maps are designed so that if you are a competitive player and a super competitive player you can really take advantage of it and uh... that's just kinda how it worked and some people didn't want to conform to that style i was one of them i didn't like the game therefore so don't take this at all guys as me saying that you're wrong if you liked black ops 2 you could like black ops 2 but I just don't think it was suited for a certain type of player. You're just you're one of the lucky ones, I would say, that was able to adjust to Black Ops 2, and some people weren't able to adjust, or they did adjust and they didn't like it. You know, there were some there were a few uh, moments in the Black Ops 2 era that I really did adjust and I really did well for I did consistent consistently, <laughs> but uh, I still didn't really enjoy it all too much. So. It's it's not an, not an insult that I'm trying to give you if you liked the game, but I just think it was made for a certain type of player with with the other players not in mind, and I'm really hoping Ghosts fixes that. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting me during the Black Ops 2 era, even though I didn't really I wasn't really into it too much. I didn't upload a lot of it. Uh, but thank you guys for being there, if you were throughout the whole time. If you're new, welcome aboard. We're going to have some fun during the Ghosts. During, well, after Ghosts comes out, we're going to have a lot of fun. Upload a lot of videos. Play with a lot of subs. It's going to be a great time, guys. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. Comment below what you think about Black Ops 2. Post your own reflections on the comments. Make them as long as you want. Dude, I made a whole, what, almost 10 minute video of my reflection on the game. And I, I was a little repetitive, but, you know, I'm, I'm really trying to get my point across. Because there is a lot to say about Black Ops 2. I thought it was a really interesting game.
that's going to be it for this one, guys. I'll see you guys all later.